ball. The Steelers, obviously, we talked about it, got a huge win yesterday at Kansas City. That's the good news. After the game, Martavis Bryant reportedly asked for a trade. Hmm. Now, he has since denied that mm -hmm. he actually asked for that trade. We know that he and Big Ben, as quarterback, had some issues with Bryant coming back, and maybe they don't see eye to eye. But when I look at Mike Tomlin and the distractions that he's had to put up with, Ben's going to retire, he's not going to retire, kneeling, standing, the protest in Chicago, and now Martavis Bryant. What's going on with this team in this locker room, and what do you make of Martavis Bryant allegedly asking for a trade? For me personally, I think he's a bit heated. Most wide receivers, especially a guy that's talented, as, that is as talented as Martavis, he wants an opportunity to get the football in his hands. And currently, the last few weeks, he's not receiving the opportunities. So he could be a bit disgruntled. But you're four and two. Yeah. There's no reason to really, you know, blow a gasket right now. I can understand a team that could be 1-5, 0-5. Oh we saw what the Giants went through this past week leading up to the game against the Denver Broncos. Mm -hmm. No surprise there. They're, they were winless. But right now, you're tops in your division. You have a great opportunity of winning more ball games, getting into the playoffs. So whatever frustration you're going through, there is no need to make it publicly. Like He said he did not ask for a trade. We don't know that, but his girlfriend on the other end <laughs> sent out a tweet. Uh-oh. Basically... There were some conversations going on in their home or where, where whatever their living and arrangements she, is. That and she felt the need she to tweet the, it out. The, the need to back the alleged statement of hmm. Martavis asking for a trade. But, yes, this has probably been one of the more, I'm not going to say difficult seasons to start off. But as far as so many different distractions, as far as the contract with Le'Veon Bell holding out, yeah. uh, Big Ben talking about he should be in camp. You know, the cooler situation on the sideline with Antonio Brown. Right. The kneeling, staying in the locker room, that situation. Up. And now hearing about this with uh, uh, Martavis, clearly this is not Pittsburgh Steelers football. Uh, what's funny, Mike Tomlin, you know him much better than I ever will. He just seems like the type of guy that, like, I'll handle this. And Mike Tomlin used to tell us all the time when I was there, let's keep our business our business. That's why I keep got mad at Antonio Brown. our business in-house. We'll see if their business gets out. We'll find out what's going on with Martavis Prime. But he says no. I he didn't ask no. for a trade. We'll find out if he still is going to be a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers.